Back when I met Mary, times were different. And my memory might be playing tricks on me, but... <sighs> Jings, but it's a brawl life being a doctor, isn't it, Alec? Aye, Lachlan, healing the sick, making a comfortable yet unobtrusive living. Nothing vulgar, Alec? Nothing vulgar, Lachlan, God forbid. And most of all, being respected by honest-to-goodness poor folk. Thank you very much for healing me, Doctor. A war with your plucky tenement woman. It was only a wee bit thorn stuck in your paw. Oh, the shame. Can I kiss the hem of your raiment, please? I warned in a fash yourself, and tell that husband of yours not to drink so much. My husband's dead, sir. Then he's no excuses. Awah! <laughs> All the same, Eric, I detect worrying fault lines in the sociological profile of our society. You mean all yon hippie nonsense? Do not worry, Lachlan. Yon'll never reach Caledonia. I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried. Who's wrong with you bastards that you are? Good God, what happened to him? Gang fight, Doctor. Two squads of govern hippies were having a right square go at one another. He's a leader off. See what I mean, Eric? Uh, uh, it wasn't in my fault, by the way. We were just having an argument about who was the most peaceful. <laughs> Next thing you know, a fight breaks out, knives flash, and all Nirvana broke loose. Get him through to casualty. It was then that it happened. I knew that I had to do something, so I plumped for some govern coquettishness. I'm going to use your work phone number. I'm sorry, I don't have a pen. Be my guest. Govan, three, four, eight, seven. <laughs> well, we started dating. Really but you know women, emotional impresarios, they no sooner discover you than they're trying to reinvent you. Bring it to you now. That's brilliant, isn't it, man? Imagine them putting a man on the moon, man. I bet you they couldn't have fit one behind the wheel of a corporation bus, Mel and Wanson, I know. That's good, would you? No, I'm cool now. Especially when I sniffed beaver in the vicinity. Who are you, boy? No, oh, no thanks, Ram. We've got some LSD in for our tea tonight. Uh, come round later and expand your consciousness, if you like. I need to keep myself narrow tonight. I'm going out with a bird later, you know. You've got a bird? Lucky bastard. Aye. But we get to transcend the material world and manifest our spiritual essence in an all-embracing union with the cosmos. Sure, sure, but it doesn't beat lounging in a settee with your digit up a gusset. <laughs> True. Especially if it's somebody else's gusset. <laughs> You're still launching that fat ass bunt. Aye. You mean the one that gives you the knock back? Huh. Best thing I ever did. Robert! Robert! Told you I could smell beaver, didn't I? Oh, thank God I caught you. Guess what, Robert? Great news. My boss's wife's had a heart attack and he gave us his two tickets for Dave D. Josie Beaky Mitten Tits. If we go now, we'll be in time. Come on. I can't, I'm going up to Maryland with Jamesy. Oh, Jamesy will no mind. You can go up to Maryland any time. It's a bush trap, would you say? Did you horror me? Deal's a deal. I kind of like my pal doing. Good man, that. Fair enough. You know what you can do well, don't you? Hi, you know what you can do and all? I certainly do. Jamesy, you want to come? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh, see, Robert, have a Harlem shuffle for me. <laughs> Oh, can I have a baby? I know, that's the wonder of me. What's the problem? But a baby would hate me. I mean, I hate me. You hate me. You've not though you're in 
thing with me, man. Love? For God's sake, keep your voice tuned. This is Glasgow. They think you're a poop if you fall in love with a woman around here. <laughs> Can you not get rid of it? I'd sooner get rid of you. You wouldn't. I know. Try me. <laughs> in that case, there's only one thing for it. Oh, I what's that? Mary Reagan, will you marry me? Do you want to dance? Oh, 